Okay, welcome back to Legacy of Cain Defiance. Playing Raziel's chapter as he had just gained the ability of the Fire Reaver, which will grant him access to the Pillars of Nazgoth. Hopefully he can get the answers that he wants from there. This episode may sound a little bit different. It's because while I was recording it, the commentary was unfortunately too low. It wasn't loud enough. So it was practically inaudible. It would frustrate anybody who tried watching this. So I decided to re-record the commentary portion with the original gameplay. Uh, I think I'm, I'm using Nero Video right now. A kind of crap video editing application. Just giving it a try. Don't like it though. So anyway, it just might sound a little bit different. Now Raziel has been slowly stumbling across quite a few different uh, secrets. We don't really know exactly what's going on right here. I mean, he is 500 years further in the future than when Cain was when we moved through this exact area. And Cain gained some of the same abilities, the Fire Reaver, all that kind of stuff. But it was, uh, he could use telekinesis to launch the attack and light pyres and stuff, and Raziel has to use the Reaver to do it. But we can still get through, so it's not a big deal. It is interesting how the two characters play very similarly, similarly, but it's not identical. Wow, there are a lot of these big sons of bitches everywhere. Up there is the uh, Saravan stronghold. No, the, <laughs> I think it's funny that the Saravan stronghold in Soul Reaver 2 was within like 45 seconds walking distance from the from the Pillars of Nazgoth before, but here it looks like it's miles away in the center of a lake. Rather than like, well it was still in a lake in Soul Reaver 2, just like close to shoreline. It looked more like a moat than a lake. But here we're like, we're miles away. Burn that some bitch. Burn him! Haha, <laughs> that looks like it hurts. Ah, and he's dead. Can't, can't take your soul after they die. You gotta get it before they die. Departure from the series. Once again, I beheld the pillars of Nosgoth, crumbling in decay now, following the corruption of the circle. Here I would find Ariel, the specter of the murdered Balance Guardian and the last pure, undefiled member of the Guardian Circle. Bound here upon her death, she was doomed to haunt these pillars until her successor fulfilled his terrible duty and balance was restored. What manner of creature approaches? I know you well, Ariel, though you do not yet know me. I have no time for riddles, strange one. All you have is time. I have come to seek your guidance. I counsel only one man, and you are not he. But you will know him soon. The contagion of your kind is coming to an end. My kind? What exactly do you think I am? Your name shall remain unspoken, as decreed by our ancestors. You serve the one who so brutally took my life and set this tragedy in motion. But even now, hope is at work. Balance will be restored, and your kind will be expelled forever. You have pinned your hopes on Cain. He will disappoint you. Uh, what can you know of Cain? More than you could ever fathom. He will do what he must when the time comes. By choosing his own death. A sacrifice for the world. You don't know Cain very well. I know what he is called to do. My faith sustains me. Is it faith or fear? You know that if Cain refuses the sacrifice, you will never leave here. And you begin to suspect. I will not hear your poison, Cain. Grant me the answers I require, and I will leave you to your pathetic delusions. Ask then. I seek the vampire Vorador. To kill him, perhaps, or to join him in death. But for Cain, he is the last of his kind. Mobius's mob has done its work. My reasons are my own. His refuge lies in the heart of the Black Forest. And may you molder there together until the end.
But she never really passed on, she just sort of continued to haunt the, uh,
This one apparently aligned with the elemental power of air. <laughs> 